Hey guys, welcome to NFTX's 11th weekly governance call. I'm here with uh, Alex, Chop, and Nick, JB, Quag, and Javery. Uh, we're going to be talking about like things that have been going on in the past week. If you've been following the other governance calls, you pretty much know what we do on a weekly basis. It's some valuable information for users and investors. So yeah, I'm going to pass it off to Alex, who's going to give us some of his thoughts. Sure. Um, yeah. So um, to be honest, I'm expecting that there won't be like a whole lot of stuff to go through this week um, just because we're so busy with version two right now. Uh, I'm, I'm being told I'm not allowed to leak uh, <laughs> images, even though I'm super tempted because it's all looking like really awesome. Uh, but yeah, like we're, we're kind of keeping that close to our chest at the moment um, and just like uh, trying to coordinate on how to roll it out. So I, I won't give away too much. Other than that, um, yeah, things are going really great on the protocol side as well. Um, Kiwi's still, uh, it's like its like the guy doesn't sleep. So he's just like working around the clock and I've been learning a lot. And I think that everyone else has been like enjoying just the solidity chats and stuff because um, it's a chance for us to all kind of learn from an expert. So uh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, Chop, do you want to say anything or? Uh, no, not as intro, but, uh, All right. stop, so. okay, cool. Yeah. I'll just um, pass it back then. Yeah. Does, does anyone have uh, any points of discussion for this call that they'd like to cover? Theo, uh, would you like to talk about Bunchy or anything or do you have any thoughts? Hello everyone. More, more hey, to, to talk about the fuse proposal. Uh, yeah. that I drafted. Uh, yeah. Perfect. In in a nutshell, it's just the, the creation of a landing market on Fuse, which is developed by the Rari team. The idea being to use your uh, NFT equivalent to get uh, a loan. So I provided the uh, first uh, and then iterate on the uh, loan to value and potential parameters for each uh, NFT. And we got like five uh, NFT, the most liquid on Sushi Swap, which is important for potential liquidation, that uh, are ready to to be communicate and see with Rari what they are thinking about. So, if you got uh, things to add and want to support, move forward with them. Up to you guys. Yeah, I added it to the end of the calls agenda. So if anyone has any thoughts, we can talk about it more in depth there. Or if you want to post straight to discourse, that's also fine. So uh, yeah, thanks for being oh. here, Theo, because uh, that's I think it's a very interesting usage of our liquidity. So yeah, uh, yeah totally. Chop. Um, and just to, oh, okay. just to reiterate, Theo, like feel free to hit us up anytime if you ever have like requests or um, want to hand with stuff. Sure, sure, it's great to to hang out with you, guys. <laughs> thanks. It's Can nice to, to to see people building. Uh, but yeah, yeah Chop, sure. you can talk about the week in review. Yeah, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, so uh, for anyone that's listening or is here for the first time, uh, what I do with each uh, governance call is just go sh fast through the week in review, which is a blog post that uh, gets published on every Monday, which looks back at that past week, essentially what happened within the NFTX ecosystem. Uh, so. Uh, last week, we've mainly, uh, as Alex said, been super heads down on uh, running development for V2, but also running development for the new front end, uh, which we can't leak yet, unfortunately, but looks dope. Uh, aside from that, we had a couple governance uh, votes running and we launched a lot of uh, like new vaults onto Sushi. Uh, so if you didn't see it last week, I think Wednesday or Thursday, uh, we launched all additional liquidity for the original uh, vault that we raised uh, back in December. So uh, like the, the, the OG projects like Axie Infinity and Avastars and Autoglyphs all got a uh, pair now on SushiSwap. They're uh, highly liquid. Uh, mainly the Glyph pair is very liquid and also... Uh, has been utilized a lot by the Glyph community. So I'm, uh, I'm there too, and uh, they're talking about it uh, quite a bit, and it's, uh, it's very useful 
for them uh, to get into glyphs at the moment because it's like uh, there's much demand for those. Uh, so that's great. If you, if you haven't looked at those release posts, uh, please do. It's essentially uh, educating you on what the NFT is, but also on how to uh, participate in those. Um, then, aside from uh, product development, uh, which I've, if, Nick, are you going to cover a bit on this call about yeah. that or no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, so aside, I'll leave that up to Nick. Uh, aside from that, we've also saw some NFTX faults built by the community. So uh, Pixel made a basic fund and bootstrap that uh, Opaka City did. And Opaka City also has a, uh, like a prize running at the moment uh, for people that are LPing. And then there's one uh, new fund for like the resonance fund, uh, which is an art blocks uh, thing, I believe. Yeah. Uh, so that's community bootstrapped. And then the last topic, which is important is, or uh, important to know about, is uh, aside from the PyDAO play fund, uh, which NFTX and is uh, integrated in, uh, we're also now integrated into the NFTP uh, index fund from indexed finance. It's a team that builds essentially DeFi index funds, uh, but now has also stepped into the NFT uh, like ecosystem, and they've built a fund with ten different uh, like governance tokens uh, of the ten most important, uh, according to them, uh, projects, which includes us. So that's dope. Uh, aside from that, I'm I'm also working with a couple other like similar projects, uh, setting up similar funds, but different portfolios, so they're different from each other. Uh, and then I also have the uh, like NFTX fault backed uh, fund that I'm working on with indexed uh, to be launched in the future. Uh, so that's the week in review. Uh, on governance, two votes uh, passed. So the retroactive grant for Owen and Vasa passed. Uh, so that has to be now paid from the DAO. Uh, treasury and also the grant request for kiwi passed uh, so kiwi is like officially through the governance process uh, and will be joining us as a senior dev uh, and i think that's it for me yeah i, I think that's it as well and i yeah. just want to say it like alex said early on uh, kiwi has been a great help like it's really something we needed as a protocol to have like a senior solidity dev so yeah uh, all thanks to, to kiwi and whoever voted, uh, also everyone that voted, thank you for participating because everyone voted yes. So yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's something that's really great. Yeah. Uh, that, that covers everything for governance. Um, there hasn't been <laughs> yeah, much this, else this going on. Like a, it's a very like short a call. On record. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. The, you don't always have to talk, right? Yep, I mean, uh, uh, yes. There's one, there's one proposal I'm working on, by the way, uh, which is, uh, is done, but it's not getting posted yet because uh, it's also around the grant proposal, essentially for a project uh, that wants to build on NFTX. But I'm currently like uh, talking with them to make sure that it's launched at the right time, so it doesn't leak any like uh, info that's not necessary mm -hmm. to be out in the open, essentially just yet. So uh, yeah, just cool. so you guys know. It's, it's good okay. to know. Yeah, Have our, um, our brains trying ready. Think, <laughs> I'm trying to think yeah. if there's anything if there's anything else um, that's worth talking about. Um, oh yeah, I I forgot one thing by the way because it was not in the week in review yet. Uh, so I'll cover it next week too. Uh, but uh, we are or the vault tokens uh, from Punk Basic and Mask are now supported on Ruler. Uh, so you can actually use that as collateral to uh, take out the die loan. Nice, cool. Yep, um, that's awesome. One thing, one thing we are going to have to talk about at some point. Um, maybe now is not the best time. It's just like uh, renaming and stuff for V two uh, for some of the funds. Yep. Um, yeah, I, I don't think it's the best time to talk about it. But yeah, yeah, like, yeah okay. We, yeah. We, we, yeah, we have talked about it like before in the governance yeah. calls. Mm -hmm. yeah, so people are, are aware that it is an issue. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, all right. So Theo left. Uh, 
So I was gonna like ask him more questions about the the fuse proposal. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah uh, like, I have uh, another topic, by the way. Uh, that's a bit okay. Continue. continue. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like <laughs> so, as you were saying uh, with ruler, so this type of stuff is something that gives us a huge like uh, strategic advantage over different protocols that like we can get entrenched less like money Legos, whereas they can't yet or haven't yet. So that's one advantage that we do have. And the more that we like use that, like, I think that's a good thing. Yeah, to do. that's true. Uh, and it's also, uh, uh, my, my, my main time is currently spent on making sure we get everywhere, like integrated everywhere. Uh, so like ruler is one fuse is one. Uh, all those index funds are also one. So I think that's uh, kind of uh, yep. important to continue doing. Uh, Absolutely. One, one thing I do uh, hear often is that because it's especially with those index funds, uh, being everywhere kind of splits the liquidity over all these things, which is good for us because it uh, means that there needs to be more liquidity for those products to function well. Uh, so organically it should grow tr uh, by being integrated everywhere, but it's it's a hard sell at the moment uh, to like get integrated everywhere because like NFTs aren't or, or don't mm -hmm. have that big of a market cap in general. Uh, and then the, the, the NFTs that apply to funds like the basic aren't like their entire market cap. So it's a, yeah, I don't know. So uh, it's funny to look at. Um, we um, kind of on that point, um, you know, I, I think like, especially the beginning of this year, it felt like NFTs were going like really mainstream, really fast. And partially they were um, and are. But I also think like, like for people that have been in this space the last couple of years, like I remember like a year or two ago um, when I was following like Uniswap and like Kyber really closely and like trying to figure out like which one to bet on. Um, I think like we're kind of at that stage um, right now in terms of like NFT liquidity um, yeah. in that like we're still basically projects will be duking out on like who can come up with the best models and who can mm -hmm. scale their organization the best and who can, you know, attract the strongest community. Uh, but like, you know, and then if, if you look at the graph, like at some point during like September last year, there was a clear split when Uniswap just like took over from Kyber and like, there's mm -hmm. really no going back now. Um, and I expect like, we'll have a moment like that, like maybe, you know, in six months or like eight months a year, um, but yeah, like right now, um, the reality is, is that these ideas are really exciting. And I think a lot of people see like huge potential for them. Um, but yeah, they're not like scaling massively just because we're not quite there yet, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Just like some side thoughts. Um, Cause yeah, like, uh, you know, it's um, basically it's good. Um, I think we're doing everything right. And um, we just got to we got to keep looking for like what the golden goose in the space is um, and like what will ultimately become like the most scalable product. I mean, it, it, there's definitely growing pains when you're mm -hmm. innovating. So I think that's something that mm -hmm. people expect already. But yeah, they, they do forget because things go so fast in the crypto space that we, we are building every day. And like if mm -hmm. you look back pretty much a year ago or a bit more i'm not sure but like when dpi first dropped so DeFi pulse index people thought it was a terrible idea and it's probably not the best like product in the world but it, it does work for someone who doesn't want to get too involved into DeFi. he can just buy dpi and like that's that's a mm -hmm. decent index and that's kind of like what's happening with us now is that people are starting to realize, hey, like we can do stuff with NFTX. Oh, we can do stuff with the NFTs that they're uh, minting. Like there, there's mm -hmm. actual like usability, usability here. So yeah, things are starting yeah, to, no, to, to, to it's, roll. Um, yeah, so I think um, it, it's all good and like everything's going really well. Um, but, uh, and we, we got time here and I think like, you know, the markets in terms of NFTs, people are kind of chilling out a bit and a lot of collectors have kind of filled their bags for the next month or so, <laughs> since that's a long time in crypto terms. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, anything, anything else anyone want to? I think Nick has we... to, uh, 
Yeah. Uh, about the product, no? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Just shit. Okay. Chop, if you if you don't forget what we were going to discuss, but yeah, uh, Nick, if you could do a short overview on product, because I don't yeah, think it's going to be too much. Super, super <laughs> sure. Yeah, there's not a lot to say. I mean, we're really close now to launching the first uh, version of well, the next version of the Minter. Um, so if anyone wants to DM me, I can uh, send over a link just to check it out. Um, we're looking for feedback at the moment just to sort any final issues before going live, hopefully um, looking at next week. Uh, so yeah, drop me a DM on Discord if you, or on Twitter if you want to reach out. Um, uh, otherwise, yeah, we'll get the Minter out and then after that, we're going to roll out the redemption and creating and managing vaults. Uh, so yeah, watch this space. All right. Cool. Chomp, if you had uh, anything to add? Yeah, yeah. The, uh, so on timing of this call, essentially, uh, yeah. because of the summertime starting in, uh, I think, half of the world, but not the other half of the world. Uh, I'm not actually sure how it works, but right now, uh, how is the schedule for everybody? Like, is, does this time slot work? Yeah, this yeah. Like, this works fine for me. Um, the the stand up, I'm I can't make any more though. I don't think. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, cool. Yeah, we'll just keep this time slot then until we get all uh, like all their feedback. Uh, for me, this works fine. Uh, is is it possible that we do a? Is it possible that we reschedule the stand up in a time that works for me? Or I mean, if yeah. not, I can just yeah. Okay, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, whatever. Okay, we no, I I think the the like governance call works for everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, like I didn't see any complaints. Okay. Uh, then last for me, uh, the fuse proposal. So it's uh, uh it's uh, Theo isn't here because yeah Theo left, uh, but I would have been able to ask. But essentially, um, does this does this need anything from us from the liquidity provision point of view? Or not? Uh, uh, I'm I'm not exactly sure how Fuse works. So you mm -hmm. mean like we actually have to deposit? Yeah, uh, yeah. so that's that's the question. Like if if we have to switch LPing from Sushi to mm -hmm. uh, Fuse, it, it kind of makes no sense. Yeah. Uh, if we don't have to, then uh, it does. Yeah. Like. Is it a deposit or is it like a, a white listing? That's the question. I, yeah, that's the question. Yeah. So okay. I'll, I'll pick up with Tio uh, after this call then, and right. uh, and see uh, see from there. All right. Uh, does anyone have anything they'd like to talk about? I'm pretty sure no, but I'm good. We're good. I'm good. All right. So uh, thank you for participating in this week's governance call. See you next week.